We were trained to avoid mentioning Amway at all costs. Instead, we should say we work with Best Buy and Apple. What? What? They tell you to straight up t lie and say you're with a different business? One that's actually a legitimate business that pays their employees? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura. If you're new here, welcome. Glad to have you. And if you're just returning, thank you for coming back. Before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below. Hit that little bell button so that you don't miss any future videos. Hi, editing Laura here. So when I did this, I recorded it and then I didn't really have time to edit because I've been dealing with medical issues, mental health crisis. I had a loss of a family member this week and there's been just a lot going on. I finally got some diagnosis for my chronic autoimmune disorder and neurological movement disorders. So there has just been so much and I just wanted you guys to know that I'm still here with you guys and I hope you enjoy this video. Also, it was supposed to be more than one horror story that I was presenting today, but it ended up being a very long story and there's a lot of great content to discuss about the different MLM structures within this one story. So thank you for watching and stay tuned. Okay, so this first post is a story about Amway. It says, why I left Amway. This will be, this is uh, on Reddit, just so you know. Lately, I have been seeing more Amway posts than normal on Reddit. It seems they've been more active than usual. Now seems like a good time to post my story since quitting eight months ago. My participation in Amway and its tool scam counterpart, LTD, Leadership Team Development, lasted from January 2019 to March 2020. I didn't fully quit until later in the summer, but we'll describe more about that. I'm going to change the names of the people in this story to remain anonymous. Upline Brad, fiance Rebecca. I am a guy in my late 20s who lives in the US. I served in the military and now work full time at a large retail chain. I never thought of myself as the type to get scammed, which is why I ignored the warnings of Rebecca and my mom. Brad, complete stranger, came into my store to do a little bit of shopping. I helped him find what he was looking for and we chatted for a few minutes. A little bit later in our conversation, he asked if I was open to extra income and that he himself is a veteran who does marketing and other with other military members and veterans. It seemed reasonable, so we exchanged contact information. I can't say I was necessarily actively looking for another income source, but I thought it wouldn't hurt. Brad is excellent at presenting Amway in a positive and non-threatening way, so nothing really seemed out of the ordinary. MLMs and pyramid schemes were a foreign concept to me before meeting him. My former direct upline, Brad, is a platinum in Amway. I'm not going to bother describing what that means. Simply, he has a fairly large group, about 100 of cult followers. I mean, business owners underneath him enough that he hosts his own weekly meetings. Amway's products are of average quality with steep prices. Rebecca and I spent way too much money every month on stuff we didn't even need. On average, I alone spent about $300 just with Amway products, plus $120 for LTD subscriptions, totaling about $450 to $500 a month. Yeah. As part of Brad's group, we were regularly drilled on having to spend most of our money on that crap. Brad would often say we shouldn't be consuming any food that is not from our business until 5 p.m. Otherwise, we would be cheating on our business. Say what? Can't consume any food? Did I read that right? <laughs> Go like on a binge or like on a fasting for this company. Where was I? 
One time at a meeting, he literally said he didn't care if Amway sold hula hoops, since to him, it's not about selling products, rather the opportunity, the items that Amway sells is just a way to perpetuate its scam. Yeah, it's because it's not about the products, or it's not, it's more about the recruiting, the opportunity, the lifestyle. There is no real accountability whether it's distributors actually sell items or fake customer receipts. Rec fake customer, okay, I'm gonna get into that later. Uh, recruitment is a focus more than anything else. It was about buying stuff from your own business and finding others to do the same. Info sessions, weekly meetings. During my Amway stint, I was working 10 to 11 hour days at my job, often getting up at 4 a.m. to be at work. The drive to these meetings is one hour one way. The info session wouldn't start until 8 p.m., more like 8.30 p.m., and normally ended at midnight. I was then exhausted by the time I had to get back up for work. Streaming in live via Zoom was not allowed if you lived within a couple of hours. Wait, so you had to attend physical meetings? Are they trying to make it sound like a real job? Which, by the way, it's not like other jobs. We'll get into that. Brad intentionally rented out a smaller room than what we had had people for to give the impression to guests that this is a hot place to be. People standing in the back was always a thing. If you were a guy and you got there early to grab a seat, you would still end up having to give it up to a female, even if she was late, if no other seats were open. 1950s gender roles like this are common throughout all of LTD. We, he would spend the first 30 to 40 minutes explaining how terrible jobs are and how great Amway is and how it's not a scam. Okay, pro tip, if you have to point out that something's not a scam, it probably is. And it's actually an inverted triangle. <laughs> what? I still don't understand that. He would always say that he doesn't get paid unless his downline succeeds too. He never mentioned the thousands of dollars per month LTD pays his family for his contributions. Too many times would he make crazy income claims like a two to five year plan working part time to quit your job. Yet if we didn't succeed, it was because we're not doing enough. Okay, I have to stop here because there's so much to digest. Okay, first off, they like to say that you're not doing enough and you're not working hard enough if you're not succeeding. That's just to provide the illusion that because 99.6% of people lose money in these, in these MLMs, according to the FTC, it's statistical proof that this is not the kind of company you should work for. And... I don't know, where was I? There's just a lot to unpack here. Okay, saying it's not a scam and it's actually an inverted triangle is like, are you trying to just turn the triangle upside down and say, hey, we're, we're the opposite of that, we're not that? No, that's not how it works. You, you are a scam because you, like, they're saying how it's not about the products, it's about the opportunity. Um, yeah, that's, that's an MLM, that's a pyramid scheme, that is recruiting people under you, and talking about it being how the people under you have to be successful in order for you to make any money, too, I can agree on some level to that, because people have to, people have to, like, sell, uh, and products, if, like, if, if you recruit somebody, and they sell something, then you're gonna earn money off of them selling something. So yes, you are invested in them succeeding. The problem is that a lot of people end up buying their own products to, to try to sell. And a lot of times they become the product of the product. They're the ones buying all the stuff. Like it mentioned in here, 450 to $500 a month that they were dishing out every month. And so you're buying that and your upline is getting the money off of that from you. And 
Meanwhile, not everybody in the downline is going to succeed. Like a lot of people are just going to be buying a bunch of products, trying to sell it, and they still make money off of them because they're under them. And so, and a lot of these companies also require you to spend money every month. So um, I'm gonna get back into that, but there's so much to unpack here. Okay. The final hour of these info sessions was for IBOs only. We would spend all night doing recognition for things like contacting and recruiting new people or spending all our cash on Amway. It really was just a big waste of an evening. I started thinking that this might actually be a cult. It was just too weird. Red flags. Contacting people for Amway was by far one of the worst things about all this. I made a fool of myself calling old friends from years back. Most Facebook messages I sent were ignored and Rebecca was unwilling to use her list of contacts to help build my business. Looking back, I don't blame her. I even resorted to using the app Bumble. Oh gosh. I've heard of this happening. Um, Bumble where you like, it's an app for friendships, for developing authentic friendships with people. And oh, sometimes these people will use those as resources, um, use dating apps, pretend on a ruse of a date to sell, um, do all these sorts of strategies to be like, hey, I'm building a friendship with you. By the way, would you like to uh, join my business? You know, it's a great, you know. So that is what they do. Uh, where was I? Bumble. Okay. Within a month or so, I recruited Pete, a coworker, but he became such an Amway Kool-Aid drinker that by the time I quit, he was insufferable to be around. Thankfully, we don't work at the same place anymore. I would go out each day after work to grocery stores and places like Walmart or Target to bring up business to strangers that look like sharp and ambitious and individuals that I would want to be friends with. Yes, I've seen that too, where, you know, you just randomly approach strangers because you're you you've tried with your friends and family and you've gotten a lot of ignored messages people don't want to be harassed essentially and you think that you're reaching out to friends when you're in it you think that you're just like rekindling the friendship and stuff but really it's with the goal in mind of selling and recruiting <sighs> keep losing my place I uh, bring a business to strangers that look like sharp and ambitious individuals that I would want to be friends with. I have no clue what that's supposed to mean. How can I tell just by looks? I even dreaded getting off work because I would have to go do that for hours. We were trained to avoid mentioning Amway at all costs. Instead, we should say we work with Best Buy and Apple. What? What? They tell you to straight up lie and say you're with a different business, one that's actually a legitimate business that pays their employees, that is, that puts a whole new term on Scamway. I mean, I know Amway's bad, but wow, straight up tell them you're working for Best Buy or Apple. Gosh, seriously. Okay, well, I do want to mention that like most of these companies don't want you to mention the name because people can often Google and look up about the company and they're gonna see all the lawsuits against them about how it's a pyramid scheme, about how it's an MLM, about how it um, has very unethical practices on recruiting people under you and you don't make money, you often lose money. If you are lucky enough to make money, you probably had a big following or, you know, and, and you just, even then it doesn't guarantee you're going to be very happy with it or you're going to be scamming a bunch of people to get that so it, so they don't want you to mention the name at first until people are invested in it many strangers would tell me it's a scam or they tried amway before to get potential prospects to his meetings, Brad often told me to lie to them that we don't know when the next info session will be. Essentially, we should use the fear of missing out tactic to motivate people. Oh, the fear of missing out. Yes. Selling the lifestyle. There was such an internal struggle within me about all this that created so much anxiety. 
Looking back now, all this contacting was just absurd. It's not normal. People with any sense in their head don't walk around for hours at grocery stores talking to strangers about some business opportunity. It seems like the conferences and subscriptions to LTD is how Amway Diamonds made a lot of their money. This is where a lot of the weird cult stuff would take place. The Diamonds would spend hours late into the night yammering on about their rags to riches story and how anyone that wants it can be filthy rich. It seems like everyone there just worshipped the ground these rich people walked on. On Sunday morning, the blatantly Christian church service would happen. The leader of the conference would go on and on all morning about how God wants us to have an Amway business so we can be part of the bigger picture. The lines between business and religion were so blurry that at times I had to ask myself if I was at church or a business seminar. As an atheist myself, it was incredibly difficult to accept all this as anything other than religious indoctrination to excuse leeching to off people's money, but I stuck around for a little longer because maybe there was something in all that garbage that would help me grow my income. And I just want to say, no matter what, regardless of what you believe, I mean, this is pretty, pretty low. Okay. Um, the last morning, the last meeting I ever attended was in late February, right before the pandemic. At this meeting, one of Brad's downline leaders pretty much said to all of us in the room that we weren't working hard enough to allow Brad's wife to retire from her work at home job. That night was the catalyst for me to really start taking an objective look at my current life situation. It seemed best that I distance myself from the negative that I had allowed to thrive in my life. For the most part, I went off the radar with almost no contact with anyone in Amway. I hadn't quit yet, not until Brad wanted me to attend a large conference of summer 2020 during the pandemic in Texas. I was not about to risk my health or Rebecca. Some diamond could get a little bit richer. Brad and his IBOs were behaving irresponsibly during the pandemic, not what I think real professionals would do. Yes, to have a large gathering during a worldwide pandemic where you're putting so many people at risk, it's just unfathomable to me that they would still be doing this. And I know it's, it's still happening, but that's how, you know, so many people are getting infected with COVID is with these things and not to be play, not to be safe. So, I mean, it's not worth it. So it's really good that this person stayed at home. Um, I mean, it's so much, it's so easy to just do internet. Why, why wouldn't they do like an internet conference? Because that's not like, I've seen some MLMs even do internet conferences that, that I can appreciate a little bit more during a pandemic, you know, um, despite the fact that it's a bit of a, a, a spin to try to get you t into the lifestyle of it and to really promote the lifestyle, the opportunity and get you hyped up. That's what they do. Although they want to make their money and they make a lot more money in person because they, you know, the cost of everything to get you, uh, well, I mean, aside from having to pay for the flight and like the food and everything else, you're, you're also paying for the venue and the, like all the, the resources that they have and stuff. So their poor behavior included large social gatherings potentially spreading the plague and their general bad attitude to recognize that the health of the general public is more important than their attempts to become millionaires. I knew it was my responsibility to do the right thing and be part of the solution and not the problem. I blocked Brad's number and I blocked Brad's number and all other Amway numbers in my phone. I ceased contact completely. I contacted LTD to cancel my subscriptions. My decision was made that we were quitting, but it wasn't easily 
it wasn't easy mentally. Since then, I have seen a few of Brad's downline at my work. Shopping? No, probably contacting. They don't bother to wear masks, even though it's a state mandate where I live. The few times they have been at my store, we would chat briefly, but I always had this weird feeling they were trying to get me to say what I have been up to. I can never recommend anyone to get involved in Amway or any other MLM. I suppose it was an expensive learning experience, but Rebecca and I have moved on from this chapter and our lives are better now than before. I would love to answer any questions. Okay. Wow, and and I actually do currently work in a grocery store as an essential worker. And when people come in and they're not wearing a mask or they're not covering their nose and mouth, like a lot of times I will just stop them and say, hey, do you have a mask? And they'll say, oh, I forgot. And then they'll put it on. But I occasionally do get someone that just outright refuses to wear a mask and then gets so mad. We are in the middle of a pandemic. Yes, we have the vaccines. Please be safe out there. This this isn't even MLM related. This is for the safety of people dying out there. I have friends who have lost people. I have my friend my friends have come down. I've even come down with what probably was COVID, but we didn't have tests back then because there weren't enough to go around, but I'm still experiencing my medical issues to this day. And, oh my gosh, just be safe. That's all I gotta say. All right, so let's move on to a different story because that was really long. I kind of um, went through a lot of it, but I think that the person that wrote this also went through a lot of the things I wanted to touch on in the first place. I just wanna say Amway is really one of the worst and it shows in this they have to come go to the meetings and go to the seminars there's so much work involved this person was doing so much work for the company they weren't getting you know enough sleep i mean even because it was just crammed into their day they had to go to the meetings and the conferences and all these things where they make the money and it's not even about the products it's about the opportunity it's about all this stuff and it's just drilling into you and you're going out to places like walmart and target and trying to sell to complete strangers you're uh contacting your friends and family most of who are getting annoyed and ignoring you or not wanting to put up with that um and you're just continuing meanwhile you're the one dishing out the money for that so that is that is what it is okay this turned out to be a little longer than expected so this might just be one on its own well that is gonna be it for today's episode what in a TV show? Okay. That's going to be it for today's video. Be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, and hit that little bell button so that you don't miss any future content like this one, any future videos, and shine on, and I will see you next time.